Hey fellow YouTubers, JJ the Trucker coming to you from Ontario. No, not Canada, California. It's just Ontario, California. <laughs> I'm here at the uh, the TA in Ontario, California. I'm sure if you have ever come to Southern California, you know this place well. Uh, the, the TA and the Petro right next to each other. Uh, so, what am I doing here? Uh, well, it's the middle of the day. It's not time for me to be stopping quite yet. Uh, but I'm here for a good reason. I had to make a pit stop um, because of something that I did. Yeah, some stupid, <laughs> you know, but I was prepared for it. Yes, I'm prepared for my own stupidity. You see, a long time ago, someone told me, always keep a spare. Always keep a spare. It's important. Now, I'm not talking about a spare tire. Hold on here. See, my tires are fine. I don't need a spare tire. I need a spare airline. Yeah. Yep. Not good, huh? Yeah. Uh, where, where's the end of? There's, yeah. there's one end. <laughs> the other end got bounced up in, inside the coils. Yeah. Yeah, I did something stupid. Yep. <clears throat> sure did. So, I was doing a drop and shit. What had happened was... <laughs> I was doing a drop and hook, and uh, you know how sometimes you know you, you release your brakes, you come out here, you you come down, you reach in, and this thing just won't pull. Oh, it's like dang it, it's stuck, it's jammed. You just can't get that thing pulled. So what do you got to do now? I had already released the airlines from the trailer, you know, boom, boom. Uh, but the only thing you can really now you can do two things when that happens. One, you can go ahead and try and you know back the truck up. Because maybe it's just, you know, that, that hook is just, just a smidge, you know, too, too much in the, you know, grabbing the, uh, uh, you know, grabbing the, 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 the hitch right there. Um, but after I did that and it still didn't work, the only other thing you can really do is hook up the airline, at least the red one. Just hook up the red line, hook that back up to the trailer. You got to release both, you know, both the brakes, uh, both the brakes, move forward or back just like an inch. And then reset the brakes at the same time and it works right so I did that came back come back over here pull it boom pulls right out all right good we're good I come back here I dolly that thing down you know womp, 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 womp. I go grab my lock off the back of the trailer you know come back I'm like all right we are good everything's good I get back in the truck and uh, I'm gonna stop that along there all right I get back in the truck and start taking off Boom, you know, I dropped the airbags and everything. I did what I was supposed to do. Everything's good. Um, by the way, if you're in Southern California, you got to get your in and out burger. Mm, you do. Um, anyways, so I, I start pulling away and all of a sudden I feel just a little tug. I'm like, what is tugging? And I look back in my rear view mirror and I see the airline still connected to the trailer back here. And as soon as I see it, I, I see it disappear and I hear BAM right into the back of the cab I'm like oh no please tell me it at least self disconnected because that's what they're supposed to do they're supposed to self disconnect that's the whole point of these you know the glad hand setup you know when it when it's like that it's supposed to be in this uh, in this uh, direction right here and when it gets pulled it's supposed to do that and release itself <sighs> not this time not this time so yeah it ripped the whole thing out but, someone always told me, have a spare. Yes, I keep this spare here for a couple reasons. You know, obviously that can happen. That's the first time that's ever happened to me. But check this out. Um, let's see, which end? This is the, uh, the electric line, okay? And you can see, as I can show you here, I don't know if you can see that with the, uh, the glare and the sun and all that, but it's, it's already starting to come loose. And I knew it was gonna be just a matter of time before that was going to break and I was going to have to uh, to replace this anyway. But I ha I've had this in my bunk, uh, under my bunk for, for forever, for forever, ever since somebody told me to do it. Now this uh, particular set, I love this set. Uh, it's the same set as I had here. Um, uh, slightly, slightly different, different brand, but it's the same type of setup. You know, this one's actually a little beefier. It's got the metal uh, uh, grip handles. Uh, it's got the spring on the electric line okay uh unlike the other ones so this one's a better setup overall 
Uh, this one comes with some glad hand seals, which you're definitely going to need if you if you are going to Laredo. It comes with some Teflon tape, comes with a spring. So it comes with everything you need, uh, and it was not expensive. I got it off of Amazon. Uh, check out the video description for a link directly to it. Um, I, I highly <laughs> recommend this because you can't get sets like this at the truck stops. Um, maybe if you're at an Iowa 80 or something, you can get it, but obviously I'm not. And this truck stop does not have a set this good. Um, so you, you definitely need to get something like this and have it in advance. Get it off Amazon while you can. Again, the link is in the description, and it's not expensive here. Truck stops, you're paying through the nose, and you know that. So go ahead and click on that link. Click on it. Click on it. Go get you one. All right. So now... How do you replace one of these things? Is it difficult? Is it challenging? No, it's not. You really only need a couple things. A pair of gloves, okay, optional. I like them because I don't want to get my hands like completely dirty because these lines get really dirty back here. Um, and this right here, 7 8 inch box wrench. The closed side, not gonna help you. Uh, getting a, a socket, not gonna help you. You need the box wrench. Uh, you need the open end and i'm going to show you why in a moment here now this particular box wrench i got from my buddies over here at the uh, at the shop over there um you know the tas uh loves these places are okay D depends on the tech with uh, loaning you your tool uh some of their tools uh as long as you you take care of them and you know what i mean by take care of them do take care of them. they're taking care of you by letting you borrow an expensive freaking tool take care of them um so yeah, take care of them and then, uh, you know, and, and they, they hold your, uh, your driver's license just to be on the safe side, which can't blame them. They want their tools back. Um, I can imagine if they didn't do that, many of these tools would be gone. So, <laughs> all right. So how are we going to do this? Um, pretty easy. First of all, we got to disconnect the, uh, the, uh, the, the first one, the, uh, the one that's already there. I'm going to climb on up here. <clears throat> Man, this thing is just trashed. Look at this. All right, see if I can do this with one hand. May not be able to. We'll just find out. Okay. We'll take these springs down because they're of no use to us. Springs got all unsprung. Okay. And it even popped the electric line out. Fortunately, hopefully you can see that because the glare right now, I can't see anything. Uh, it's th still good. Everything is still good in there. Nothing broke on this. Thank goodness. Um, it's not a bad idea to keep an extra one of these two. Um, you never know. I've never had an issue with mine, but I might just have to get a spare. These are what you're going to have to disconnect right here. Obviously, trailer brake's got to be off or pulled out. Uh, but if you're not connected anyway, you already know that. All right. And this is why you need your, your open-end box wrench because... Obviously, if you're doing a closed end, uh, <laughs> yeah, how are you going to do that? You can't. So you need an open end box wrench right here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video right now, set you down, and, uh, and unscrew these, and I'll be right back. All right. We're back, and we got these things removed. Um, it was not easy for a few reasons. One, it needed some liquid encouragement. I know I don't mean uh, alcohol. I mean some WD-40. It's a good old WD-40. And then uh, when you're doing this, keep in mind, here, let me uh, switch hands here again. Hey, you're down here, you know, trying to get this, and you don't have a lot of room, at least I don't, between, you know, uh, the, the catwalk here. And you really got to be careful because one false slip, and, you know, this catwalk is a cheese grater. You know, your fingers are just gone. So, um, yeah, just a little at a time on each of them. Um, I actually used a screwdriver, kind of as a, you know, got the, uh, it's hard to show in one hand, but imagine the, uh, imagine the box wrench being right here, okay? I don't know if you can see, really see that. And I put the screwdriver right in here and kind of use it as a, a pry bar just to get it broken loose. I had to do that a couple times. And, uh, and it came, you know, after the uh, WD-40 sat for a couple minutes. Things came right off. There you go. So, now it's time to get the new ones put on. All right, I'm going to pause the video again and get it all set up. Stand by. All right, got the new one up here and uncoiled. Now, uh, 
it's probably a good idea to remember which line was which, <clears throat> red versus blue. Um, not only did I remember because I knew this was going to happen, but um, you know, you got, you can see it down there, the red and the blue. Hopefully, you can see that. I can't see anything because of the glare. <laughs> but he's not on my camera screen. So uh, these come pre Teflon. Uh, there it is. So I don't have to put any Teflon tape on this one. Uh, but keep in mind, if you do uh, not have this set, you're gonna need to Teflon tape that. All right. Um, I can see I've got some Teflon tape in there from uh, remaining, so I got to clean that out real quick. So I'm gonna do that and then uh, start these, start getting these uh, in. All right. I'll be right back again. All right, we're back. These are handy. I, as you can see, I don't really use mine much, but when you need to use one, they come in handy. Clean out that Teflon tape, uh, just like so. Clean the threads. Yeah, just like so. Glance in there, we're looking good. All right, and then to connect these, it's pretty darn simple. You just screw it on in. Okay, that one's hand tightened. Now this one, the red one. Obviously, this is going to be a little easier for you if you are not filming this for YouTube. Because you're going to have two hands to do this. That's right. But you know what? I'm willing to make this sacrifice for you guys. That's right. Just for you guys. I wouldn't do it for anybody else. Uh-uh. Where'd my wrench go? Here, wrenchy, wrenchy, wrenchy. Where'd I put that thing? You guys see it anywhere? Hello. Ah, there it is. Come on down here. Oh yeah, I gotta keep, keep it on my trash. Hold on. Put that in here. So it don't blow away. All right. There we go. Back up on here. Alright, this is obviously going to take a bit, because I need to make sure I get it nice and tight. So, I'm going to pause you all here and use both of my hands. I'll be back. Ah, I'm done. Alright. Alright. We got those things in there. They're nice and tight. Now we go ahead and uh, connect the electric line. See if I can do this with one hand. That'll be... One. There we go. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice and easy. Okay. Make sure it's nice and snug. All right. We are good. These are in. We should be a-okay. -okay. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. That is one side. Now, uh, I come over here. Put the uh, the the grips on. Glad hand grips. Put the. Uh, Put the springs on and all that stuff, and then we'll be good to go. All right, stand by. I'm gonna go ahead and put those glad hand grips on. I'll be right back. So here's something interesting. So these right here go into the uh, actual glad hands. I'm gonna find that side here, like so. And you can see they're uh, coated already, so I don't need Teflon tape there. Uh, but on this side. They connect here, and you can see there's no coating here. Am I seeing that right? There we go. Uh, no coating. If you, there we are. Okay. <laughs> Again, the glare. So I'm gonna have to throw some Teflon tape onto uh, this one and this one right here, and, uh, and I'll do that. That's gonna need two hands. Just remember, when you're Teflon taping, go with the thread because as you're screwing these things on, you don't want the Teflon tape to come off to unthread. All right. Be right back. 
All right, these things are done. Now these things you pretty much only need to hand tighten. Uh, they got the Teflon and everything. Um, I did go ahead and use my vice grips uh, just to get a good grip on, on one side as I was hand tightening the other. Uh, but you don't really need to fully uh, tighten these things down like you do like you do on those uh, those guys over there. All right, so we got this all set up. Now it's time for the springs. But before we get to the springs, I got a special treat for you guys. Look who I ran into. If you don't recognize this guy yet, you will. This is Rob from Actual Truckers. He's a new YouTuber, and man, this is this is awesome. I'm glad that we were able to run into him. Actually, he ran into me, right. uh, and he's got a, he's gonna have me in one of his videos. Uh, so make sure to check that out. Go ahead, Rob. Tell him tell him about your channel. Bumped into JJ, just kind of walking by with my camera, looking for guys to interview. You guys are wise to follow him. He's doing all this real world stuff. My channel is more about uh, trucker stories, talking about trucker life and what it's like out there, things that we do, family stuff and all that, but uh, you guys are in good hands with JJ the Trucker. Check it out. Right on. Thank you very much. Yeah, definitely check out his, his channel, Actual Truckers. All right. We ready to get this thing finished up? Let's go ahead and get those sprungs, uh, the springs sprung and hung. All right, guys. I got a great cameraman now. Woo. Yeah, I solicited them for some work while we're at it. All right, here we go. Let's get these springs on now. I will tell you, the uh, the hook that this set came with wasn't big enough, so I'm reusing the same uh, carabiner hook, as you can see, it's much bigger. And this thing right here, I ended up getting this separately uh, from uh, off of YouTube or, or off of uh, Amazon. Uh, may have gotten it at uh, Iowa 80 or something. It's just a quick grip. You know, to grip the, to grip the lines. So I'm keeping that up because that makes it a lot easier to quickly adjust your lines as you go. Because you want to make sure your, your lines are not dragging on the catwalk. That's a no-no. That is a big no-no. Hold in for that. All right. So, attach that there. watching this feature presentation from me, JJ the Trucker. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up or two. I appreciate it. That way I know which videos you're enjoying. And while you're at it, check out my shop below filled with tons of JJ the Trucker exclusive merchandise. And you know what to do now. That's right. That's right. You see it right there. Click on my face. Click on my face. Click on my face. You know you want to click on my face. Subscribe to my channel and not miss a single one of my future videos. And if you're new to my channel, here are a couple of my other great videos, such as the one YouTube is recommending or the one I'm recommending. Be safe out there. Later.